Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kayla. I normally film Nordstrom content, but today I'm gonna to show you guys my beauty room slash office that I had done by California Closets. When I moved into my house in 2020, we had this room and it's actually one of my favorite rooms in the house and it just didn't feel quite right. It's technically considered an office space. It's about the size of a small room, but the layout is just kind of weird. So I'm going to do an overlay of how the room looked before. And it was extremely disorganized and messy. There was no closet space, but it was one of my favorite rooms because it overlooks our backyard and our backyard is my favorite feature of the house. I knew once we bought the house that this area was ultimately going to be my beauty room slash office space. Um, I've always had an area where I do my makeup and I get ready at, so I knew this room would be perfect for it, but it just needed some work. It's an awkward shaped room, um, so yeah, it needed a lot of work and it needed to be multifunctional. I use it to work from home. I use it to do my makeup. I use it to get ready in the morning. Um, I also have an area where I need to put my dog's crate in because my dog sleeps in a room and we put some of the dog supplies in it. So it had to be an office place, a room for the dog, a room for me to do my makeup, a room for me to get ready. And I wanted it to be aesthetically pleasing. My husband and I agreed that we wanted the room to just look aesthetically pleasing. We wanted it all to flow together. We first looked at Ikea at shelves and closet spaces that they have and it was pretty expensive to do it on your own and it kind of looked a little mix matchy and PC. and we're trying to avoid that because we're going through the phase now where we're actually getting like real furniture and not hand-me-down stuff so we don't want things to be different or mix matchy we wanted it all to flow together and once we priced out the ikea pricing it was kind of pricey and when we bought the house, the previous owner had left us all the receipts for every project that she had done. And she had a closet done in the house by Closets by Design. So we already had that price that she had left us a receipt for. And Ikea came out to about the same exact total. So we decided we were going to start calling around and looking at different closet companies and get estimates and see what they could possibly do. My overall experience with California Closets was fantastic. Um, the advisor that I worked with was named Stephanie and she was amazing. She came over and she spent about two and a half hours at my house the first time we met. She looked over my space um, and I kind of left her room as it was. I showed her all the items that I had and I was like, this room, it needs to hold all these items, but it, everything needs to have a place. Um, I told her about what I do for a living, what um, I usually use the room for and things like that. And we spent a great deal of time together. She brought over this laptop. Um, she was able to make a lot of it in like 3D. And this room is a very awkward shape. Um, right over here, this wall, super weird. Um, so she did a bunch of measurements. She retook measurements and she really just listened to what I had to say. And she came up with amazing designs that we tweaked. I don't know how many times I was probably pretty annoying, but she tweaked it. She made it work for my budget. So it was an overall fantastic experience. Um, it took about a month for when we signed the contract to when we were actually able to get the closet installed. So not bad at all. And it only took one day to install it. After Stephanie came to my house, she invited me to the design studio. So my husband and I went to the design studio. We saw all the um, hardware and finishings. They show you everything. And I believe everything that they install is owned by California Closets. So that's the reason why they're able to do it in such a timely manner is because they source their own items so it's not like contracted out they have their own employees who come in and install it they have their own warehouse where they keep all the products at so that was really nice um, knowing that everything wasn't going to be contracted out and would take more time 
and it was really fun going to a design studio. So I decided that I wanted gold hardware. Um, I got to look at all these like design, um, display closets and that was really cool because I pointed out features that I liked and we were able to add those to the closet. So it was a really fun experience. I've had the closet for about two months now. I absolutely love it. I can definitely have room to grow into the closet. There's like plenty of empty space. Um, and there are a few little tweaks or things I want to add into it, but I can definitely do that later on. So let me go ahead and show you the closet. Here is my closet. I absolutely love it. It's super functional. It works for all my needs. I love it. So I'm real quickly just gonna show you guys each part. I might have to do, I might have to add some lighting here because of course it's raining. But we'll go ahead and we'll start with the window before I add the lighting. This window is my favorite part of a room. So I told Stephanie that and she definitely worked with that. Um, I have pretty tall ceilings and a very small window but it does show my backyard and I love my backyard so it overlooks the pool and um, like our yard space and she added this really nice bench to it and there's shelving on both sides so I can add handbags and things like that to it I love it now I'm going to go ahead and add some lighting so we can see the room better when you first walk in, you see that we have room for my steamer, and then we have this tall space right here for dresses, and I have a ton more storage up here, so I could put handbags and things like that, but right now I have a photo of my dog Jackson. That's the first day that I adopted him. It says, you had me at Wolf. And yeah, I don't have this very well filled out yet, but this is for longer like dresses and type things. And then over here, I have storage for makeup that I don't use every single day. So that's like my extra makeup for special occasions and things like that. Um, these are where I keep all my samples that I get from Nordstrom. And then in here, I have my Dyson. I have um extra makeup that I use all the time like I love this Charlotte let's see this will focus the P pillow talk crystal dimensions eyeliner this is my favorite eyeliner it's pink I love it and I have some extra magic cream in there I have some travel size items so that's where I keep extra items in and then over here, I just have like my handbags. I have extra room up here that I just threw some store bags in. So I'll be able to add extra handbags as I add to my collection. And then right here is where I do my makeup every day. And it's the perfect amount of space. So I just sit right here, I got my makeup. And then in this drawer, I keep extra makeup so I keep like the items that I use more regularly then up here I have more shelving space and I have room for my shoes I love that I could put my shoes on display right here I got some western boots Liam Benjamin on YouTube and Instagram here she um, recommended these she said these were like super comfortable they're by BP and I'm going to Nashville in a few weeks so I went ahead and got them and then I definitely need to add more of my clothes into this closet but those are my blazers I wear to work and then I have more items that I typically wear to work down here and then I have all my like contemporary bags up here. 
And I live in Jacksonville, so that's the Jaguars. And then down here, underneath the bench, I really like the bench, by the way. The dog usually sits on it. That's why it has reserved for the dog, and he looks out the window. But underneath here, I have storage for my out-of-season shoes. So I have, like, my Uggs in here. And I have... Some more storage. Oop, this drawer's a little messy. I am not the cleanest person in the world. And then I have a ton more storage up here. So right here we have my perfume. We have extra bags. We have these cowgirl hats that I got for Nashville. And then over here, this is more of my office slash arts and crafts space area. I really love this area. There's a ton of space and I like how it all just flows together. That's what I wanted. I wanted something that would just flow nicely together. So right here we have my Cricut. I love using the Cricut machine. It's so much fun. And then underneath it, we have the dog's crate, fits there perfectly. She even measured the dog's crate to make sure it would fit in. And this is my Another Cricut device, that's a heat press. I have my iPad here, I have my laptop. So I have all of my workspace over here. And then I have a bunch of storage hidden over here. I love that it's just like concealed inside this space. Then up here we have more open space and we have more, I keep like office stuff and arts and crafts stuff in here. And then I have like files and more work stuff down there. And this is the one spot that I really want to change. I want to get a bigger mirror, but I don't want to spend like a thousand dollars. So if you guys know of a large affordable mirror, let me know. But I have my plant right here. I love snake plants for inside my house. I have them all over the house. They're very easy to take care of. Um, you only have to water them like once a month or so it's not hard at all i'm really not a fan of fake plants so i like to get real ones and then i have a little trash can down there and a rug thanks you guys so much for watching this video if you would like to see my other closet it's really small it's by closets by design and you want to see a comparison let me know i'd be happy to film that and if you do not usually watch this channel, I actually film a lot of Nordstrom videos. I work for Nordstrom. So if that is something that you're into, if you're into fashion and you're into Nordstrom hauls, then please consider subscribing. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.